from the campus of Northwestern Oklahoma State University. Honored by the Oklahoma Broadcast Education Association two years in a row for the best collegiate newscast in Oklahoma. This is 7 News. Northwestern Theater Crew has worked diligently to provide their audience with a great production. It went really well. It was one of our best received shows that I've been a part of at Northwestern. Uh, everyone that I talked to really enjoyed it. They had a fun time. It was really exciting. The cast hard work was paid off by keeping their audience entertained this past weekend. But now all their focus is on their next show. I'm really excited about Alyssa's show coming up in April, uh, A Hiding Place, the story of Corrie Ten Boom. It's about a woman who hides Jews in her home and she gets sent to a concentration camp. It's going to be a really moving story. The theater cast is already adding the beginning touches to make this upcoming production a great one as well. The story of Corrie Ten Boom. It's about a woman who hides Jews in her home and she gets sent to a concentration camp.
the first day of the election. Now we're going to be a very good idea. Students pass through a sudden end of instruction test in order to get a grade. 
is to offer incentive for making their students active third grade and reveal the performance of individual schools on an AP access. Our final time on the day is publishing a book of Hillary's story, both questions for certain grant for our recipients. The publishing of the day was John Bennett, a third class friend that under the current law has worked for his benefit to indirectly subsidize an individual's birth habit, allowing people to take advantage of the system. The bill will be for applicants to submit to and pay for a birth set. If they test positive, the owner of this for one year unless they successfully complete a substance abuse program within six months. A similar program is further rejected and denied as benefits to almost 10% of applicants, which is actually nearly one million in the first month, according to the Foundation for Government Accountability. So when you win the softball team, you pay a hundred and two o'clock. 